The figure shows a container consists of a cone and uh, with the base area 5 cm. So let me mark it down. Okay, and um, a hemispherical lower parts of the same uh, radius. And then um, the weight of the solid is 17 cm. Okay, part A, find out the capacity of the container, which means that you have to find the volume. So I think uh, this one should be easy. If uh, this one is 5 cm, okay, so uh, this one is also 5 cm because it's the radius and therefore the height of the cone would be 12 cm okay so uh, would be 17 minus uh, 5 would be 12 okay so for part a the question asks you to find out the capacity uh, which is uh, the volume of the container okay so would be 1 over 3 times the base area that means 5 square pi and times the height so I found okay the volume of the cone and then I have to add okay the sphere the hemisphere so it would be 4 over 3 pi r cube so r is 5 and then because this is a hemisphere so I have to um, divide by 2 Okay, so I will get the answer would be 550 divided by 3 pi cm cube. So this is uh, part A. And part B, the question asks you to find out the uh, materials used. Okay, so um, the area, okay, the surface area. So uh, if I want to find out the surface area of a cone, so this part will be pi rl, okay, pi rl. So how to find out L? Okay, how to find out L? So would be I have to use the Pythagoras theorem. So would be pi R and L. So L I have to use the Pythagoras theorem. So would be five square plus twelve square. And then um, plus okay four pi R square. So would be the um, surface area of a sphere and then because this is a hemisphere that means I have to multiply 1 over 2 or divide by 2 okay so I will get the answer um, this one would be 65 pi and then this one would be 50 pi okay so the final answer is 115 pi cm square the figure shows a cone of ice cream. The part inside the cone has the same volume as the hemispherical part above the cone. So it, which means that the volume is the same. Suppose the height of the cone is hcm, so which means that this part is h. And uh, the radius is rcm, so which means that this one is r. So part a, the question asks you to find out r to h. Okay, so the volume of the cone would be 1 over 3, okay, times the base area. That means r squared pi times h. So this one would be the volume of the cone. And the volume of the hemisphere would be uh, 1 over 2 times 4 over 3 pi r cube. Okay, so um, both sides you have 1 over 3, so you can cancel out. And uh, here you have r square, you can cancel out. And then you have pi, you can cancel out. So which will give you um, left hand side is h, and then right hand side is 2r. So the question asks you to find out r to h. R to H, which means that the question is asking you R over H. Okay, so uh, it means that you have to throw the H to the right hand side, and then you have to throw the 2 to the left hand side. So R to H would be equals to 1 to 2. 這裡要注意,很多同學都會計 rate and ratio都會錯的 
Okay, and then for part B, find the ratio of the curved surface area of the cone to that of the hemisphere. So once again, I have to remember the formula. So the curved surface area will be pi RL. So what is L? Okay, L, which means um, this part, this one will be L. So if I use the Pythagoras theorem, so I can express, okay, I can express L by h squared plus r squared. So this one I use the Pythagoras theorem. How about the denominator? The denominator would be the curved surface area of a hemisphere. So, uh, which means that it is a uh, four pi r square, and since it's a hemisphere, that means you have to multiply one over two. So, if you look at this part, okay, h is equals to two r. So, if I substitute it here, so I will have. 2r squared plus r squared so which means that uh, 4r squared plus r squared so would be um, square root 5r squared okay and I will get square root 5 okay and then r squared and then I take the square root your square your square roots come say mostly fast so I can take out the r so would be equals to r square root 5. So I can substitute it back to here. Okay, and then uh, I can simplify it. Pi, pi, you can cancel out. R, r, you can cancel out. And then this one I can cancel out to get 2. So the final answer here would be equals to square root 5 over 2. So therefore, the required ratio would be square root 5 to 2.